Hello, my name is Lacey and welcome back to Late Night Coloring Mama. Tonight I thought we'd do another color and chat. It's been a little bit, so I thought we could do some chatting and catching up. And just talk about random things, talk about coloring, whatever we feel like. And tonight I'm going to color in Animals One Color Lines. This is a Sun Life Drawing coloring book. You guys know I love Sun Life Drawing. So in the book, it tells you here what the picture is going to be. I try not to look. And here's one of the pictures that I had done a while back. They are so much fun. And tonight I'm going to do this one. It's a bunch of lines. Um, I did purchase this on Amazon. If I can find the book, I will link it down below. And I am going to use Bic Intensity Permanent Marker in Plumtastic Purple. And this is a fine point. If I run out, I do have another one in Ultra Fine Point, so I can use that as well. I probably have another one in this tip, but it's in a little tote marker thing I have that some of my markers are mixed up, so I just felt like, eh, I'll use the other one the same color. So yeah, let's get started and chat and color and see how tonight goes. So I'm going to probably start over here. I do have a piece of paper underneath because it will bleed through since it is permanent marker. I thought purple would be a nice color. So how is everyone doing tonight? How are you doing? Hope you're all doing well. That you're happy and you're feeling good. I'm, I am hanging in there. Um, it has been, you know, usually February it feels like it goes quickly, but this month it feels like it has been a very long month. For me, anyway. Does anybody else feel that way? We did have a high of 56 today. For February, 56. That is amazing for February where I live. Usually we have a bunch of snow and it's freezing. And I don't mind the snow. I wanted to actually to have snow, but I'll take any weather we have. I'm fine with it. Tomorrow it's supposed to be sunny and 52. So another nice day in the books, it looks like. Which I'll take. The sun usually puts me in a good mood. A good mood makes me want to get up and move in and do things. Me and my daughter tried, okay, I tried to exercise and my daughter, she's so young, you know, she's not even preschool yet. She tried to exercise with me. Oh my goodness, my calves have been hurting for three days. Not my calves, my thighs, excuse me. That's a good feeling. I'm hoping tomorrow we can get back and do some more. The weather makes me want to do that because it's so nice. So my daughter and I went on a walk today. Just a short walk. 
when we left for our walk, it was 46 degrees out. And we have kind of a long road that we live on. It is a dead end, but the other end is pretty long. So we just walked all the way down there and came back home. It was nice. It felt good to get out there and just go for a little walk. I'm going to try to do that a lot this summer. Last summer we did a little bit, but this, this summer I want to walk more. So we have less than a month left of winter. Can you believe it? I think it flew by. Less than a month left of winter. But we'll see what happens in that time frame. We could still get snow. We could get snow after. But we'll see. I see that the lake behind my house still has ice on it, so. Do you guys want more snow? Or are you ready for the spring? Or do you even get snow where you live? Or do you even get the nice spring weather? As I'm enjoying the weather, I wouldn't mind to have a little bit of snow. I know, I know. Just to like next month then it can be gone. My daughter really wanted to play in snow this year. We didn't get really any. They got to maybe play in it like once. It was gone. You usually have to get, we usually have to get new winter boots every year because their feet grow so fast. I'm liking this color. I'm pulling it. I'm moving away so you guys can see each as I color, but I am liking this color. So how's the weather where you guys are at currently? Are you getting the 50s for weather or is it warmer or colder? I'd be interested to hear. I always like to hear about weather. I check the weather like every day. That way I know, you know, how to dress my son for school, pick out his clothes for school and if he needs long sleeve, short sleeve. I mean, he gets dressed himself and everything, obviously, but I like to set it out and everything. I usually set that out in the daytime while he's at school. And then, so I don't forget. I have forgotten a few times, though, so. Has anyone heard of that new movie, Anyone But You? Now, there was an actor in there I recognized. I'm not sure of his name. He was an older guy. But everyone else, I don't think, I don't think I knew any of the actors or actresses. Um, originally, me and my sister-in-law went to the movie Priscilla. I seen the preview for this movie, and I wanted to see it. I thought it looked hilarious. So, me and my husband watched that last night called anyone but you again and it was it was okay it had some funny parts in it I think I was just expecting it to be funnier you know how previews can do that definitely not a movie for kids to see but it had some funny parts it wasn't bad it was it was just okay. I feel like, I mean, 
there has been a few good movies that I've seen in a while, in the past whole year, but I feel like a lot of movies I've watched, I'm just not that impressed with. I think all the older movies are better, usually. I don't know. Have you guys seen any good movies recently? Or any good TV shows? I'm watching like three TV shows. I alternate between them. Depends what I'm in the mood for. That's why I gotta have options. Because sometimes I'm in the mood to watch. Other times I'm like, nah. Just not really feeling that show tonight. So yeah. Anyone but you. My sister-in-law really wanted to see that, so... I mean, I can tell her, but... So Sunday, my niece, her boyfriend, my nephew, my sister, my dad, my sister-in-law, and maybe my brother and myself are going to be going to bingo. It's called All's In for Alzheimer's. Um, it might be a little spendy, but if you figure it out with all the cards and everything, it's actually worth it, but it's worth it to us anyway. Um, a portion of that will be donated to the Alzheimer's Association which I think is wonderful. And that is why we are going. I'm not going to talk about this too much, but my mom actually passed away this month. It is still very hard for me to talk about. I'm getting better. It still hurts a lot, and it always will hurt, I'm sure. But she had Alzheimer's. Um, she had it for seven years. Till the end stage. So, that's a good cause to us, for us. Um, at her funeral, a few people donated to that. That's where we refer the memorials to. So that was nice. So yeah, we're going to bingo. Dad's coming with, which is great, you know. Because he needs to do things too. And get out of the house and which he has been. He's been going on walks. I just found out tonight him and my sister, my oldest sister, went on a five mile walk. Uh, we have a nature center and they went on a five mile walk in there. It's beautiful today, so it was perfect weather to go on a nice walk. So he did that. And he knows he's welcome at our house anytime for supper. Um, we'll probably bring him supper sometime. He said right now he has plenty of leftovers still, so he doesn't need to come over right now or anything. Because he's going to eat his food first. And then I said, well, just come over next week then and have supper with us. So, yeah. I haven't played bingo in quite a long time. I think it starts at noon, Central Standard Time. And there's quite a few games, so. I am hoping March is a better month. It's just been just a stressful, emotional,
month. I think for a lot of people, not just people in my family. Got St. Patrick's Day in March. Do any of you celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Um, we've done the corned beef and cabbage. I do that in the Instapot sometimes. We don't do that every year, and then the kids set traps to catch the leprechaun. Try to. And then Easter. Today, I dusted and cleaned and swept in the living room. Yes, I swept. We have hardwood floors in our living room. Most of the ho our house is hardwood. So, yep, I dusted and Cleaned up. Yesterday I did my daughter's room, dusted her room from top to bottom, and tried to dust all the rooms like once a week, but I separate it so it's like one room a day so I don't get overwhelmed. I get overwhelmed easy. Even if things are not really a mess, I just feel like I got too much to do. I know it's part of my anxiety. I just worry about things. Ooh, I'm gonna cough. Excuse me. <coughs> I had a tickle in my throat. I'm sorry about that. So yeah, I did that today and I turn on um, my little diffuser. I love the smells, you know, with the oils. watered some plants at my mom's funeral. I have never seen so many flowers at a funeral. I don't think ever in my life. My mom knew a lot of people. So my parents had five kids total. We all took some plants. Um, summer at the cemetery with her, the, the wife and mom and the grandkids, the big, the bigger ones. Some my dad took home. I feel like literally she knew everyone. She loved to talk to people and she was very sociable. I am not. I'm kind of quiet, but my mom always was. So yes, I watered those plants. And I hope they stay around for a while. Well, the flowers I'm probably not too good at, but the other plants I am. Never been good with plants. My mom always was. Their backyard had tons of plants and flowers. She liked red geraniums. She'd always do big pots of them and put them at my grandma and grandpa, her parents' graves, and her siblings. And my dad always likes to keep the yard nice, so... I'm still reading the book Pretending to be Erica. I had mentioned a little bit about that in one of my videos. I feel like, I don't know why, I feel like I need to read more. Like I say that every year, but some years I feel like I don't read enough. And I love to read, I just, 
I don't know. I'm just sometimes not in the mood or... It is a good book. It really is good. I just... I either read when my kids are in bed or if I'm up before them in the morning for a little bit with coffee, I'll read. But otherwise, yeah, I don't really read too much. There. And I have a lot of books and that's one of my goals is to read a bunch of my books this year. I'm going to try not to use the library unless I have to, you know, absolutely have to for a part of a series or something. I'm just going to try to work through my books if I can. Sorry guys, I'm kind of quiet tonight. I'm, I want to do this color and chat so bad, but my mind just like thinking of a million things. I just received an advanced copy by Paula Braxton. I'm going to try to read that next. Um, the book comes in, I think it comes out in July. And it's a fiction, historical fiction book. And I actually do like historical fiction. I never thought that would be something I could read. I thought it was going to be boring, nothing, nothing exciting until I started reading a few. And I love historical fiction. Same with, you know, I never thought I'd like fantasy. I love fantasy. I've always loved romance and thrillers and horror books. And YA. Um, I've read a couple sci-fi and those aren't that bad. I like contemporary. I don't really read self-help. Uh, maybe that's something I will try more of. I don't really read memoirs too often or anything. I read the Britney Spears, her new book, a while back. And that was good. I liked that. But I don't... I don't know, I just don't read them too often. But yeah, I've definitely expanded the genre in books. You never know what you like till you try it, so. So yes, that book should come out in July. I'm excited to read it. It's called The Haunting of Hecate Cavendish. I believe that's how you say it. Hecate. Have any of you heard of that book? So yeah, it's a advanced reader's copy. Macmillan sent it to me to read and review. So I want to get to that after I finish this book and review it. So... We were watching old videos at my dad's, my siblings and I and their spouses and my husband and our kids. And there was a video in my old bedroom at my parents' house and a bookshelf and books. And then my dad found some awards of us, of ours that we had when we were kids. And I got some award for like reading so yes I've been reading since I was a little girl my siblings kind of giggled at that they're like she still reads yes I do I do read a lot well not a lot but I try to you know what I mean So I'm thinking this video is probably going to be a long one. I would like to try to finish this picture tonight. But if I can't finish it, I don't know if I want to do a part two or not. I might just finish it myself. I haven't decided yet. I've been thinking about this like a bunch today. Because I know I wanted to do a color in chat. 
just a really slow color and I don't know if I want to try to finish it because it'll take it'll be a really long video I don't know I like long color in chats I don't know if all you guys do I don't know if you guys listen or color when I well I guess I do both when I watch them Sometimes I'll color and listen and look up occasionally to see the picture. Other times I might just listen. But yeah, if, to get coloring done, I think that's they're great. I wonder what it's going to be. I don't know. I have no idea. I didn't look. I don't like to look. I like it to be a surprise. By the time you guys see this video, I'll officially be on YouTube for four months. Man, that went so fast. I can't believe I'm already on here for four months. I enjoy it. It helps me relax and I get to vent and talk to you guys. My husband likes that I do this too. He thinks it's good for me. He keeps me on my toes and it does help with anxiety and stress well, pretty well for me because when I'm coloring especially in these types of books my mind kind of just relaxes I don't even know how to describe it it doesn't run a hundred miles an hour every every time Ooh, my eyes are starting to play a little bit of tricks on me I think I still need to get my eyes checked I really do my dad just got um, Cataracts removed from his and he said he's never seen so good in his life and he's like I can't believe how white the stove is at his house I was like yeah <laughs> so he can see really really good the doctor said 2020 so that's great so back to four months on YouTube 260 subscribers now some people might not think that's a lot but to me that is a lot I never expected this and I'm happy with it heck I'd be happy with just 10 even and I know right now my mom would be so proud she'd be so proud that I'm doing this My dad knows I do this. I just couldn't really tell my mom, which is almost heartbreaking that you can't tell your mom because she wouldn't have understand, understood. And when I tell my dad how many subscribers I have, he's just as proud. He's like, really? I'm like, yeah. So that just melts my heart too. Like they understand and don't judge and my dad, my mom would too, so. She would just be happy that I'm doing, doing it to help cope with things, my stress and anxiety and depression. And it is helping me during my sadness too.
and I do enjoy coloring. I love it. I love having multiple hobbies. Coloring will be my main, and then reading books, and then there's other ones in between that I will share with you guys. But I really do appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are all amazing. And it makes me feel good knowing you guys are either experiencing the same things I do and understand me, or that you just enjoy my videos and I can't thank you enough. I told my best friend that I do this and she thinks it's awesome. There's a couple of people I haven't told, and I shouldn't really care what people think, but just my thing. I don't need to tell everybody what I do. I'm proud that I do this, but some people just don't understand, you know what I mean? Some people don't understand that you have anxiety or depression or why you do the things you do. My family, my husband, my kids, my dad, my siblings, they all understand, and my best friend. And those are the kind of people you need in your life. Well, I need in my life anyway. My husband will always be a supporter. My mom would too. And my dad. So thank you guys for sticking by me through these four months. I love all your comments, those that do leave comments. I try to read each one or answer each one. I honestly probably don't always get to all of them, so I'm sorry if I haven't replied to some of them. But I do what I can. And I enjoy them. I'm like focusing on this, these lines. That might be another reason why I'm kind of quiet, too. I am trying to focus on these lines. It's been a while since I've done the line one, I think. I haven't done this one for you guys yet, this coloring book, and I think this is my last lines or lines book that I own from Sun Life Drawing. So... Does anyone have plans for the weekend? Doing anything fun? Exciting? Going somewhere? Going on vacation? Keeping it low key? Staying at home? I don't think we're doing anything as of now. Not that I know of. I don't think we're doing anything. We're usually homebodies, so once in a while we get out and go someplace, but Friday is a grocery day, so 
getting groceries on Friday. Which is a good time because I plan on having my dad over Monday for supper. If he wants to come over. Because I feel like we always cook so much that we always have a ton of leftovers. I just cook so much. Thursdays we try to eat leftovers because, and sometimes more during the week depending on what we had cooked. So I'm filming this on Wednesday. So Friday is grocery day. Um, we get groceries every two weeks. We are on a budget. Single income family. My husband works his butt off. I am a stay at home mom. For a little over a year. So yes, we work out our budget. That's what I get to spend for the month on groceries. So I get every two weeks and I try to split it up. Sometimes I spend less one week, sometimes a little more, but it all equals out. And we usually save some money, so. I don't usually buy meat too often. As we get ours, we buy like one of our grocery stores, we have a hy V. they get like half a hog sale, so we'll do that, and then family, they have cows, so we get that done too, so yeah, that's how we go about the meat, and I just buy stuff usually to cook meals, I don't always buy junk either, once in a while I'll buy a little bit, like snacks and stuff for the kids, but not too often. I think this week I picked up for like a snack and yes it's for two weeks unless my husband has to go to the store for something he'll get like extra milk if we run low or something and he might pick up some snack or something but I bought some snickerdoodle cookies I try not to buy too much too many snacks I mean I love snacks my kids love snacks my husband loves snacks but I want my kids to eat meals and be full, I guess. I think that's all that I bought for snacks anyway that I can think of. Because sometimes in the summer I'll be buying like a bunch of chips and buns. Because we do a lot of grilling out in the summer. But right now, no. I actually did get some chicken breasts. We have one whole chicken left because we get that done too. But I wasn't going to cook a whole chicken, so I just bought a couple breasts, chicken breasts from the store. So yes, and I try to meal plan. I usually just meal plan suppers because sometimes lunch, me and my husband usually eat leftovers. My son will if he's home from school. My daughter, she's so picky. Um, she pretty much will tell me what she will want for lunch, and I'll go with what we have. I'll let her look, and then she'll have something from what we have what she wants for lunch. So, usually it's like just some uh, meat or some fruit with that and some crackers. Sometimes she'll just want butter on bread with like fruit or something, you know. As long as she's eating, I'm not, you know, at supper time though, she does have to try a bite of everything. Just at lunch, we kind of let her pick. And breakfast, my kids used to love eating cereal a lot. But now they're over that. I make pancakes all the time. That's all they want to eat now is pancakes. So I'm doing that. Sometimes I'll do eggs, you know, bacon. These combo bar things that we have. That we got a box full of them through a, a meat sale one time. 
and they're almost like kind of like hash browns but they have like egg and like meat inside but we'll make those when we make a full breakfast as like a hash brown kind of so yeah i just usually play in the suppers breakfast you know they want cereal they want pancakes sometimes i'll make muffins you know it depends So do you guys like to watch color in chats? Like I said, I love them. I'm just like way behind on watching a bunch of um, videos, YouTube videos. It doesn't even have to be color in chats. Just way behind. The month was just hectic and so I'll have to go back and watch some when I can. I usually watch YouTube videos at night. Sometimes I can during the day. Not very often, but sometimes I can. Once in a while I may be able to jump into a live. Not very often. But yeah, I love watching your guys' videos. And if you do like color in chats, do you like long color in chats or short ones? A lot of mine will probably always be long. I like either or. It doesn't bother me. I like long and short. I just like to color, so pretty much anything coloring, I'm like, ooh. Or if someone does like a flip through, or if someone does a tutorial. Because, you know, I need to learn a lot of things that I would, well, I would like to learn a lot of things. So I like watching those. So maybe I can try them or learn how to do them some days. Any tips, tricks, I like that. Okay, it's starting to form a picture I'm seeing. I am not sure. I don't think what that is yet. So my last video, I did some talking about diamond painting. I'd be interested to know if any of you guys diamond paint. It's not everybody's thing and that's okay. I basically just talked about how I think or what I think diamond painting is and how I do it. I don't even know if I did that good of a job of explaining it, but that was the easiest way for me to explain it. I really like coloring with Sharpies too. They used to be like my favorite, but now, oh, I still love them, but them Dabo and Shobo, I swear, they're like my favorite marker now. I just want to use those all the time, which I'm not gonna. I'm gonna switch them up here and there, but I love them. We were just talking about that because I was telling my husband how I refill them. If they get low, I had a couple that got low, and I'm like, I'll just refill them. And he's like, you know, they don't last forever, you know, and I'm like, I know. He's like, you're better off just buying new ones and keeping them, and then you'll have the other color if you need it. So I've been really thinking about that since I love them so much. They are like my favorite marker now. And the Sharpies, so... So back to the diamond painting, I will probably have a part two video coming out sometime soon, I'm thinking.
and I have decided that at some point I will be diamond painting for you guys. I mean, why not? Help me get my diamond paintings done and, you know, just something to do, something different. But coloring will always be the base on this channel. I'll just throw in some diamond paintings here and there. But yes, I'm probably going to have a part two coming up soon. I'm excited about it too. And I just found out we have a store um, called Main Street, which I have a bunch of gift cards for, which I gotta see if they're still good. I haven't been there in a long time. They are really a really expensive place. They have nice things, really nice things there. And I just found out they have diamond paintings. So I was talking to my, well, my niece sent me a thing because she knows I do YouTube. And she sent me a thing that they do diamond paintings. She's like, we should go there sometime. I said, yeah, I got all these gift cards. Let's, I don't know, maybe sometime this week yet or next week. I don't know. We'll see. But she's wanting to go too. It's been a while since she's been in there, she said. She actually used to work there when she was a teenager. So, yeah. So I can check out and see. Maybe they have coloring books too. I don't know if they do or not. I know they have puzzles, tons of puzzles, and I think games. They sell furniture, home decor, just a bunch of stuff. But they are, are expensive, so I'd really have to look and see. Maybe if I find something I like, I'll do that. Get that with the gift cards so yes I plan on doing some diamond painting for you guys at some point actually doing that just be like a color and chat except for it won't be called a color and chat be like diamond painting and something or I don't know I'll think about it what I'm gonna say Actually, I think I know what I'm going to say, and I talked about it with my husband, and he laughed and shook his head, but I'm not going to share that right now. Because I thought it was kind of funny, but yeah. I think they actually sell the diamond dots there. I think that's what she showed me, if I remember right, a picture of. And... I have that diamond dot that I got from Walmart, so maybe it's actually pretty affordable there. I don't know, it was $10 that my husband brought home for me. And then I got one a long time ago at Hobby Lobby that I haven't opened yet. Probably been sitting since 2017 too, like a bunch of my other ones. So that's another thing too, just to get into doing some of the ones I have. And I mean, I bought them, right? I wanted them to do them. Just sometimes... Life gets a little hectic and we got to take a little break, which is okay. I don't think I have any idea what this is. Hmm. How many of you guys like watching coloring book hauls, coloring book collections, completed pages? I love all of those. But I don't think my Amazon list is ever going to end. I add and add stuff to my list. Not saying that I'm going to get them all. It's just things I'm interested in, basically. Sometimes I go through my list and me, eh, well, and I decide not to and I remove it, but my list is never ending. 
I pretty much love all coloring books. Because I usually find something in any book to color, but sometimes I'm just like, do I really need this one? Do I really want this one? I sit and think about that stuff a lot. Same with the hauls that I've shown with, shared with you guys. I really do sit a lot and think. Every month, I look at coloring books. And I think about how many I'm going to buy that month. What I really want to color in for the month, but yeah, a lot of, a lot of, there are so many amazing coloring book collections. I, you know, and I thought I had a lot, oof, I do not have that much, actually, compared to a lot of people. And I don't have, like, a fancy setup or anything, mine's just literally a tiny brown wooden bookshelf. And I'm on a built-in desk, so nothing really fancy to share. And I'm technically sharing all my coloring books with you guys, because I plan to color in most of them, if not all, this year. And so far, everything's going great with that, so... I do love collecting coloring books and books and apparently diamond paintings and I actually have some oil paintings as well believe that or not and I have a few word search books too I just like to have my options Are any of you like that where you have a lot of something? Are you guys pretty minimal? I think it's amazing either way. If you're minimal, that's awesome. If you collect, that is awesome. Whatever makes you happy. That's all that matters. Purple is so pretty. Probably looks darker than that on camera, but it's very pretty. And it does look like the color of plum, like it says to me anyway. My nose is getting runny. Any of you guys getting stuffed up? had this cold for like a couple weeks now. So there are some new markers and gel pens and colored pencils I've been eyeing. The gel pens aren't a huge, huge case, but like I said, I had a bunch of them, but I think they all pretty much are dried up and I would like to start using them Especially now since I'm coloring more and I'm doing this with you guys as well. I think I would use them a lot more. Now there are some markers that I was looking at. Fine liners because I really want to get some fine liners so I can color in my um, coloring book with the dresses. Because there's a lot of small detail. Well, I found one that I was like, oh my goodness, these are so pretty, and they showed what the colors looked like and everything. I had like a little video on Amazon, and I think it was only like 24 of them, but the price, and I was like, 
Okay, maybe I'll get them. And then I found some shuttle art ones and the price was amazing and you got way more and you guys know I love shuttle art I have shuttle art markers that I have used quite a bit so I think if I decide to get them I haven't fully decided I think if I do I'm gonna get the shuttle art ones since I've had experience with shuttle art before and this other Burton the other ones I don't even remember what the name was I never heard of them they could be great too I just when I seen that price I was like I mean, sometimes more expensive can be better quality, but I just couldn't, I don't know, just something on it just made me say, mm, I don't know if I want to pay that much for fine liners. I mean, maybe other markers, but fine liners. And then the color pencils I found were like a metallic that I just loved and it's not that many at all and it was pretty affordable so I was like hmm so there's some things and I want to get like um a, a case I'm not sure if I'll do it for markers yet or pencils actually eventually I'd like to have all mine in cases besides these little tote things which worked great but I think with the tote things that I have currently once they're empty Maybe if I finish coloring books, I can put completed coloring books in there or something like that. Maybe even completed pages for the month. I don't know. Just kind of thinking about. And I still use my all the supplies I have. I always will until I can no longer use them. I still have a few things too of markers that I need to swatch out. I would like to swatch out, I should say. Because those actually, the ones that I have swatched, which isn't very many, if I'm looking for a color, that does really help. Because you know, you can see it instead of like on the back of the box. It's actually on paper, so I can see what it really looks like. Do you guys like swatch videos? Or no, you don't care to really see those. I'll still probably do them. I just like to do them. I'm just curious if you like them or not. And I use like a free, free table to print out and do that and then but when I do get colored pencils I want to swatch them on like an actual printed printed out full table with no writing on it like the writing will be printed from the computer instead of me writing in like the ones in my markers which I don't mind doing that but I'll just do that maybe for the markers I don't know I guess we'll see If anyone would like to see me do more swatches, 
please let me know. I'd be happy to do some swatches from what I have. So what is everyone drinking tonight? I'm actually drinking. This is kind of hard because I don't usually drink this. I'm drinking Kool-Aid. My cupboard, I found we had some Kool-Aid, so I made some. Because me and my husband usually buy these big containers from Sam's Club of Powdered Gatorade. And I told my husband, I said, do we really need to buy those? I mean, once in a while, if the grocery store has something to drink on sale, I can just buy. And I want, well, my son has always drank a lot of water. Always. And milk he'll drink, too. My daughter, mm -hmm, she always wants juice. And lately, since we've been out of Gatorade for a while, she's been drinking water. And milk, but we put like strawberry syrup in it. She has been drinking milk like crazy. She wants milk all the time. So, I mean, strawberry syrup probably isn't the best, but if I can get her to drink milk. Yes. So I'm kind of holding off on that other stuff. I mean, we love Gatorade, but. She's been drinking water, too. I only buy water bottles occasionally. I usually just drink it out of our tap. But they had a good sale on like a 24 pack the last time I got groceries. So my daughter has been wanting to drink water because it's in a bottle. So I've been letting her do that. And she's drinking it, so. And she'll, like, if she wakes up in the middle of the night, she'll drink it out of the faucet. And sometimes she'll drink it out of the faucet if I give it to her. But I think she'll drink it more because it's in a bottle. I don't know. Kids can be funny like that sometimes. Now this groceries that I'm getting, I'm only buying the two gallons of milk. I'm not buying any drinks or anything. I, mean, I still have a bunch of drink packets and stuff like that too the kids can have and we got water so and we still got kool-aid so we got plenty of stuff to drink so I was thinking I could talk a little bit about me some more Basically what I've been doing, right? <laughs> so, how did I meet my husband? How did you meet your spouse, partner? I'd be interested to hear. So, I met mine. We actually used to work together. Um... Yeah, so we actually used to work together. A bunch of us would get together at the end of our shift and we'd go out. And we all would hang out. So that's how I met, I met my husband through work and then we'd go out with everyone and things just kind of clicked. And we've been together ever since, never broken up. None of that stuff. We both believe if we're going to be together, we're going to be together. So, we were together seven years before we got married. We were engaged for quite a while, though. And then after we started dating, um, my husband was offered a pretty good job. So he left where he worked with me and I was there for quite a few years more. Until, I don't know, it was a year and a half yet. I gotta think about it. Yeah, a year and a half ago. 
we decided it was better if I just stayed at home with the cost of daycare because pretty much I didn't wouldn't have a paycheck. You know, we we would alternate, you know, we'd split everything, you know. But it was like it would basically take my paycheck, so if it were just me to pay. So it made sense just to stay home. And I was so used to working that I just first I was like, oh my gosh, I was just going crazy cleaning because I was like lost without working so but it is nice I love being home with my kids I probably wouldn't change it for anything but I'm only planning to stay home for a few years well that's what we were planning it could change you never know So yeah, that's how we met. I'd be interested to hear how you guys met your partner or spouse. It's always fun to hear stories on how you meet each other. And my husband is older than me. Um, he is actually, I gotta think about our ages now. Oh my goodness. Do you guys ever do that where you like forget? He's 14 years older than me, and I was so nervous for him to meet my dad. It's like, oh my gosh, thinking, man, how's my dad going to... Well, I was always nervous, you know, when your parents meet your boyfriends or whatever. My mom loved him right away. And he actually went and met my dad himself. Um, some cows had gotten out, and my dad had needed help. And he said he would go out there and go help my dad. My dad liked him ever since, too. So he went on his own, which, wow, that's, like, amazing. How many guys would do that? You know, you wonder how many people would actually do that, go on their own to meet the parent by themselves. Go to meet the father. who you're his baby girl. The youngest out of five, so. So that's how everything happened and my siblings all love him and everybody loves him. Nieces, nephews, And that's how I knew he was the one. He went to meet my dad himself. Kind of a fun story. Trying to see what this is forming into. I'm not sure yet. Do any of you know what this picture is yet? I think I can kind of see the image now, but I don't know what kind or what exactly it is. Maybe when I'm done I'll peek. I'm sure I probably asked this before but where do you color? Where do you like to color? I like to color here on my desk 
or at the dining room table. I like a flat surface basically to color. I have colored sitting on the floor before on the couch. It just, I don't know, it's not the same. I prefer something flat. Maybe I'm afraid I'll mess up. I don't know. Now, I don't know if I could lay on the hardwood floor and color. My kids love to lay around and color. And usually I'll color at the dining room table when they want to color. I'll color with them. Today, my daughter was drawing. Drawing grass and she wanted me to draw the flowers so I did what I could of a flower not a drawer so and then she drew a rainbow when she told me she was drawing a ghost bus she likes to draw smiley faces and she can do good at smiley faces and rainbows for her age so she's pretty good so maybe she'll be I call her brother an artist because he's really good. I think she's going to be into that too. Drawing and coloring. I don't think he's so much into coloring as he is into drawing. But I think she loves both. She loves Play-Doh. She did that today too. My son never liked Play-Doh really. He didn't care for it. She likes to craft and make things. and She likes to make these little flower shapes. She has this thing that you can put in to make flower shapes. It's supposed to be for like hair things. But she makes these tiny little, they're tiny flower shapes and lets the play-doh dry out and she pretends it's like baby food for her baby dolls. And she keeps them in this little dish thing and saves them because they get hard when they dry out. After so long I throw them away but for a while she'll keep them in this little container for her baby dolls. So yeah that's kind of it's kind of fun. She has such a good imagination. I don't even think my imagination was that good as a kid. She just, yeah. So how many of you have coloring books like these? Or this coloring book? I would be interested in here. Or like Color by Numbers. I'm just kind of interested. It's always nice to hear what people like. Or do you have a favorite coloring book that you like coloring all the time? I would like to hear that. I don't know if that I do. I might. I don't know. I guess I haven't really thought about that. But I'd really like to hear if you do and which one you color in all the time. I used to color in order. Sometimes I still do, but I feel like some of my books I kind of skip around now. So when you guys see my completed pages, I honestly didn't do too much for Valentine's Day. I colored pictures, but not too many. I don't know. I colored a variety of pictures, like usual. Whatever I'm in the mood for, I guess. Don't want to color something just because, you know, I want to color because I actually want to be in the mood for it and enjoy it while I'm doing it. Because coloring should be fun and it just helps me relax. I don't want to do something that I'm not in the mood for because I'm not going to relax. I'm going to be stressed out. And I think this is going to be an actual two-parter, guys. I really was trying not to, but we got quite a bit done tonight, I think. Um, but yeah, I'll, we'll talk just a little bit more and then I'll stop. 
Do any of you that color have any coloring plans for March? What are you going to do in March? I don't have any St. Patrick's Day books. I have one Easter one now. I shared with you guys my last haul. And I'm going to, I really want to color in that. I'm excited to color in that one. Um, what I do to plan my videos. My videos are Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And if I don't, for some reason I can't post one, I'll share in the community tab. But that's when I post new videos. Um, I color late at night, but I usually, you know, you have to edit and go over things. I usually post them at like 8 in the morning. So anyway, back to the plans. I usually um, fill out a calendar with what I plan to do for that month. And if something takes me longer, I'll extend it and move the other thing to probably the following month or the last thing that I was going to do to the following month. And I haven't done that yet for next month, and usually I'm pretty good about getting it in there pretty quick. So that is something I probably need to do soon. Figure out what I want to do for March. Or do you guys just go with the flow and just color whatever? If you have a YouTube channel, how do you do that? If not, you can let me know how you do it too. Maybe you do plan. Maybe you like to color and just color anytime, but you like to have a plan on what you're going to color. Or what you're going to do in March. I always said I go with the flow. I still go with the flow. I just have a plan of what I want to do for videos and whatnot. But I would like a St. Patrick's Day book. That would be fun. But I don't have any of those. Might have to browse my, my books to see if they have any St. Patrick's Day in them. I don't think they do though, really. Are you guys, I say guys all the time, are you a morning person or a night owl? I am a night owl, obviously, the name of my channel, Late Night Coloring Mama. I have a hard time sleeping at night. Sometimes I will take melatonin, but I don't like to. To help me sleep at night. And it works, I just don't like to do that. I drink some tea before bed, like sleepy time tea, that does help usually. Um, but I do still have to get up early in the morning. Um, five days a week I'm up by 6 a.m. Sometimes earlier, my husband's alarm's off at like 5.30 and I hear it. And I'm one who, once I hear an alarm, I'm awake. And then on the weekends... I'm usually up by 6.37. I don't usually nap. It's been a few times where I get pretty tired, though. usually hits me about 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I start getting really tired. So then I gotta keep myself moving. When my kids are born, my son, since he's the oldest, my husband used to tell me, go take a nap, sleep when he's sleeping. That's what everybody says, right? I agree with that, but I didn't. I couldn't sleep. I was too worried about the baby, and I had such bags under my eyes. Same with my daughter, though. I didn't sleep when she did either. I just couldn't sleep. 
So I don't sleep too much, but it's enough. Enough for me. My daughter still sometimes wakes up in the middle of the night, not always. Last night she slept. So, I actually, I didn't record last night, so I actually went to bed at like 10 o'clock. I was so tired last night, and I slept till probably 5.30, 6 o'clock. I got my son up for school and my daughter stayed in bed till like seven. She, that's, she doesn't usually do that. So I was thinking she was pretty tired too. So she's usually up really early. So yeah. Do you guys get up early? Do you stay up late? What do you like to do? Or what do you do? And then I also feel like if I sleep in, which I would love to sleep in, like, till, like, 8, 9 o'clock, that would be, like, nice. I feel like if it's, like, if it were, like, 9 or 10, I feel like I'd waste the day because I got so much stuff to do. I always have stuff to do. But yes. Anyway. I've been recording almost for an hour and a half. It's about hour 22. I think I'm going to end it here, and then we will do part two tomorrow. Let's just do it. All right. So, again, the book is Animals, One Color Lines, Sun Life Drawing. Move that out of the way here. And if you like this video, please consider giving it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, and are new to my channel and like this video, please consider subscribing. As always, I hope you have a nice night and happy coloring. Bye!